here we are at uh, Sierra Knowles Winery in uh, the South County of Nevada County, down in the area of the Lake of the Pines. I'm sitting out here. It is a beautiful day in uh, what seems like the middle of uh, summer, but it's only March. And uh, we're at the, at the entrance to the Sierra Knowles Cave, which is right, right behind me here. And uh, winemaker John Chase keeps his barrels in the cave. And uh, we're going to go in and talk a little bit about barrel tasting. We're going to hear the... Uh, what the, the uh, winemaker thinks about making wine and, and the benefits of barrel aging and, and what we might expect when we taste a wine out of a barrel. So we're looking forward to it, so uh, we're going to uh, adjourn to the cave. What are you as the winemaker tasting for? Or how does the decision process work? Or, or, you know, it's a part of that mysterious world that consumers don't understand. They just go to the grocery store and buy the bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. So. I, I, what do you taste for? What do you, how, how do you do that? Really, I'm looking right now for really good fruit um, in the wines. No off mustiness, you know, nothing that could have come in from the vineyard. At, at, at the risk of being too bold, could we try one? Sure. Okay, so this is a, this is a 2006 Cabernet Franc, you say? Cabernet Franc. Okay, now when you smell it, you know, it's going to smell a lot more like grapes than it does wine right now. Okay. And that's the newness because it's a fairly new wine. But when you taste it, you'll notice that it's just overpowering the fruit. Which, and that's what you're looking for, is a lot of good fruit. Hmm. Should we be spitting? Should we be, do we need to teach people how to spit? Now that's still got a little bit of spritz from the fermentation, would you agree? Yep, yeah, a little bit. A it's little uh, bit. probably still a little bit more than I like it. A little bit of a, and, and, and that will be there when the wine is finished. No, this will be in the barrel for another two years, practically, before it's... And, and, and what kind of barrel is this? This one happens to be a, 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 a French, a French oak barrel. Now, I know that the younger the barrel, the more oak flavor it imparts into the wine. Uh, two years is a pretty long time. Does that get that pretty oaky, or is this an older barrel, or how does that work? Well, I, I have six barrels of Cabernet Franc sitting here, mm -hmm. and some of them are in neutral barrels, uh -huh. some of them are in newer barrels. So, in six months when I rack the wine, it all goes, gets mixed together in a tank. Uh -huh. So if you have one barrel that has more oak in it, it gets dispersed. Uh -huh. So you're not concerned about that? This wine's going to change an awful lot between now and when we bottle it. So what you're suggesting then is someone tastes it, it tastes too young, too green, maybe too astringent, and they think, boy, they don't make very good wine. That's probably, that's a risk that I think you take when your barrel uh, tastes it to the public, is, is a lot of people uh, are expecting, when you taste wine out of the barrel, they're expecting it to taste like it would, like it's going to taste. And it's going right. to change a lot. I mean, okay. that's why you wear barrel aged wines, is it's going to change. But I think this wine is a little bit, well, a little bit flat. And, and this has a spicy character to it that the other one didn't have. You think you agree with that? I, I, I think not the switch spicy is more floral. It's almost got a it's a little bit musty. Oh you think so? I think that this this uh, it's hard to tell. But it doesn't have that uh, real strong barbera fruit that it it, it may change. Uh -huh. If I was to compare this with the 06 Cabernet Franc, I would say that this would probably... I think I'm smelling lavender soap, something like that. Some kind of lavender floral perfume More character. Floral. Yeah. Right. 05. 05. So it's a year longer, so all of a sudden we're picking up more wood flavor. You're more picking wood up, influence. You're picking up the, the aging process of the wine. Mm-hmm. You see, the, the flavors are more integrated together. Well, no, that's a bigger wine, more, more, more body, more tannin. More, body, more tannin. A bigger wine. And I think it's got more fruit. Uh-huh, more fruit. So, what else do you do to this? Is this 100%? 100%. Now, what else will you do to this? Why would I won't you do anything. Yeah, you can bottle this. I'll ready to go. This is ready to bottle probably in August. Okay. We're giving it another um, four or five months in the barrel. And that'll make it almost two years, about 22 months in the barrel. Okay. Well, that was uh, that was quite an experience. We, uh, as you as you saw, we spent uh, we spent about an hour in the cave. We uh, we were barrel tasting, and the, uh, the, the there was a couple of things I think that were interesting about that. One was 
that often when 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 I get a chance to barrel taste, usually the wines are quite young. They're usually within a few six months of the harvest that's just been the most recent harvest. But here at Sierra Knowles, they had wines from 2005. They had wines from 2004. So we really got a chance to experience barrel tasting from a, from a much wider perspective than we than I typically get an opportunity to. Uh, and, and and as John pointed out that he thinks there's some fairly dramatic uh, transformations that wine goes through over a, a, a period of time in barrel. And, and I, think, uh, I think he's proven that he's right. So it was a pleasure to be down here and get a chance to listen to, to a winemaker talk about how they think about barrel aging. And, and uh, John, I believe, is a, uh, uh, I don't want to say a hands-off winemaker, but he's quite happy to let the wine sit in barrel, let them evolve over time, and is not in a hurry to get the wines to bottle to market. And that's unusual in this day and age. We're, we're, we're seeing younger and younger wines, particularly in the world of red wines. We're seeing younger and younger wines come to market. And, and it's, it's kind of refreshing to find a winery that's still got not only 05s, but an 04 in barrel. And I think uh, I'm going to track this wine. I think John is thinking he's going to bottle it in August. That'll be August 07 at three years of age. And I think it'll be fun to come back in about a year and see what that wine's doing, just to, uh, to uh, see how it is once it's been in bottle for six or eight months. So uh, this was a pleasure. It was fun to be down here, and uh, it was even more fun to taste the wines.